I mean, he's got the high ground here, so... Dude, he he's definitely cooking right now. He is no. cooking. Let's see what he's got cooking. Let's let him cook. Oh, oh here we go! Oh. Here we go! This is what he was cooking the whole time for, guys! Fucking oh, ladies it. and gentlemen, welcome to another Herald Review. This time, I'm doing the intro. Can't just do that, man. We're already in this. Alright. Uh oh. Luck or Smurfs? What do you think? Uh, they smoked as soon as the game started. I can't tell. My gut read is Smurfs. Well, I can tell you some people in this game are not. <laughs> this is just a full fucking brawl. Uh, not looking like Smurfs anymore. No. Absolute carnage at level one. No one, one. died. Peel is bot, and so is TA, and Lich is heading down there. So this is a tri-lane bot with Both ogre, carries. ogre carry. <laughs> Absolutely confusing. Oh, oh the spear back. in the tower. Yeah, that spear. And into the bramble, oh, too. The... Oh. And he's fine if he just does not walk into a bramble, I do believe. In fact, Dark Willow. Oh, wow, this hero does oh, a lot of damage. Head. Oh, oh. Dude. Okay. I suppose when Ogre has literally no items that give stats, he is actually kind of squishy. Uh, Ursa does have ult. There's a the Chain Frost, and he doesn't ult. The, the, the Witch Doctor does ult, though. Um, very briefly. <laughs> Holy fuck, Ogre! Oh my god, dude! What the fuck is he doing? This is quite the dive. Sniper is getting gone on on the back line. Oh, the Ursa the, and the Witch Doctor wrap around. This is not a good dive from them, dude. This is the anxiety <laughs> I was getting, bro. Ah, uh, Mel not gonna save you. So everybody that stayed, except for the Lich who left, went down. I so. love how Witch Doctor just let his ult rock. Yeah. Oh. oh no, not this again. Okay, well, there goes the tier 1 token. It is so hard to play this game without boots. Like, it is genuinely, even on Weaver, who has max move <laughs> speed, it is, like, frustrating to not have boots. Imagine how good this guy is going to be when he unlocks boots. Hold that thought. This storm is looking for the... He's going for the play. He's got the invis. He's actually waiting for the witch doctor. Going on the sniper, which is the right target. Witch doctor has glimmer. This is a nice gank setup, but oh no! He's got the shadow blade, but they have dust. Alright, they do have dust, even though it's Herald. He's going to let it rock and just kill the wave. Really beautiful stuff from the Witch Doctor. That's a, a lot of farm for him. Oh, here we go with this shit again. Good lord. Oh, it's actually gonna work. Very nice. Every time Willow presses Bramble near their team, like, every single Bramble gets used. It's fucking yep. crazy. This is very effective Brambling. Ooh, the Mars! Three-man ult! Misses the spear. But Willow has the ult. That's a Chain Willow, Frost on four it. heroes, though, dude. Oh my, oh my god. god. This is a very effective Chain Frost. What the fuck? This is going to be a five-man wipe, I think, if they... They're three versus one Witch Doctor and running away from him. Okay. Wait, did he have a mech the whole time? Uh, yes, he did. He just saved the mech for himself. And it's going to be successful. He'll <laughs> take the... Take the Ogre down. Sniper doesn't want to fuck with the... Uh, he is testing the waters here a little bit. That yep. was awesome. He will get him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Oh, that's the good stuff. Look at that. Oh, he's in on just the Lich. I thought that was going to hit three people. And that kind of baits Willow to go in. She's going to man up, press all of her shit, and actually kill the oh, TA. Oh, kill TA. Yeah, I did not expect that, but that's very good for her. That's a good trade. Mjolnir. This is legitimately going to be an entirely bootsless sniper game. Holy shit, the Witch Doctor is in with Invis. He just wails down the ult, and then obviously lets it channel regardless of having no heroes be there. Mars goes in. The Witch Doctor ult was a bait. There's an Eon Disc on the Ogre, of all things. The Storm goes on the Sniper. That is absolutely the correct play. He is manning up on the Sniper. He's not even going to go for the Storm. He's just slamming into the team fight. Now he turns on the Storm, who's low HP. Witch Doctor uses his Voodoo Switcheroo. As the PL goes down, the Lich Glimmer capes himself away. Is there any detection? There is no detection. Nobody has anything. He's going to walk into... Oh, his Glimmer wear off. Oh. oh my god, dude. I'm so glad you went player perspective. Are you fucking kidding me? Did you just see what happened? 
What? Bro, he died, immediately started spam pinging TA, opens up the scoreboard, and starts muting everyone. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Sorry, I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, okay. Oh, my God, dude, that's awesome. Look at it. Watch, watch, watch. No, no, dude, dude, dude. It's the methodical Look. pings. It's methodical pings, which, which means he's chat muted, I think. He can't spam ping. Because he did it methodically. So he muted everybody but Ogre, which means he might be actually party queued with the Ogre. Or it's just in character for a sniper player to be like, dude, the only good player in this game is the 2 and 12 Ogre. <laughs> I mean, the idea can still be there. Bro, here's another tier 3 token he's leaving. I told you Ursa loves just littering stuff on the ground. This is the third time. And the Willow, typical support, is going to go pick it up. Sent it back to base. I don't know. Okay, uh... if we had any question if this guy is a smurf i think we have the answer now come on get a quelling blade man quelling blade quelling blade tangos come on yeah okay. all right all right yep. <laughs> i really like watching the problems arise and just the solutions that yeah the solutions out. to them yep the triple tango the problem solving really is awesome to watch yep also, the wards mid that you were praising Witch Doctor for, they are just next to each other, right? Like, just down the lane. Like, look at mid. Go all the way down mid. And go up again. Go up again more. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Witch, Witch Doctor cares that much. This man has ran in to start every single fight. Oh, the Mars! Three-man ulti oh. hits the sniper. Witch Doctor ulti onto everybody. Oh my God. That is a very, very nice ulti. Storm Spirit is pausing. Very He's bad manner. Himself. Yep. Question mark comes out. That's really good. It's extremely poor behavior from him. The spear comes out. The storm jumps in. He's got that arcane rune. Uh, he might be paying for that question mark. Nope. Looks like he'll be getting another kill here. Arcane rune very effective. Uh, nope. He... Okay, Karma does not exist, ladies and gentlemen. That that proves it right there. Mega Creep versus Surely. Mega Creep scenario. That's a grip on the sniper. He's going to take him down because this hero's fucking pathetic. Storm oh. uses the refresher. Grips again. Witch Doctor ulti coming through. That's with an Aghanim Scepter, so it does bounce. It's actually bouncing Holy a lot. Shit. Takes out the PL. There's the Chain Frost and the Blinken. This could turn out to be a pretty good Chain Frost because they're, they're all... They're in. They're just fighting. They're manning up. The Storm comes in for the third grip of the team fight, and that is a full team wipe. But two Chain Frosts are bouncing around. Mars is going to die to two of them. Uh, are these Endless Chain Frosts? No fucking it, way it, Yeah, that's, no an, way, that's an Endless Chain Frost. Okay. Oh, they live. Okay. Yeah, thank God for Ursa ulti. Okay. Everyone's having their own individual hero moments, so I'm going to assume Sniper's about to fucking pop yeah, off Yeah, for the first time this game, maybe. Dude, this looks like it should be good. Uh, oh, maybe not. Sniper's peeping away. The PL is not dying. He's in there, but he's not taking any damage. The Ursa going for the Sniper on the back lines. He's not using the Abyssal Blade. Now he uses a kill to Sniper. 100 seconds dead. As the PL also going down. Missing the Spear. He's got the Fury Swipes on him, so they should know which one is the real guy. It's that one with the Swipes on him. And that is 90 seconds dead on two heroes. I see the mistake that they're making. I see the mistake. Uh, they indeed did not grab the Creep Wave, which means this thing being protected by the Lich Armor is probably going to spell the doom for them. Yep, there it is. There's the backdrop protection kicking in. And then they're also going to go down to the TA and the Ogre. No, just man. like that. Dis just a disaster situation for them. Witch Doctor going to rage by back. What the fuck? He's defending the Ancient, dude. Oh what? my god. What is... What are these... They're defending the fucking Ancient. It's called Defense of the Ancients. What's wrong with you? Stop being an asshole. They're very scared for their lives. I, I don't know if they know what backdoor protection does, in my opinion. Um, well, that's your opinion. The creep confusion is definitely the, the issue here. As the Ursa goes in, goes on the TA, she melds, goes on the sniper, uses Shadow Blade. As the Witch Archer goes in, Voodoo Switcheroo from him. I think he still has the ult. No, he does not have the ult. He's going to try to Glimmer Cape himself out, but there's a sentry there because Heralds know how to play. Super late game for some godforsaken reason. The Storm Spirit does not have grip, but he does have Refresher, which he has not used once this game. Use the trap. And Ogre buys back. Storm TP's back to base. And we have reset. We have effectively reset the game. Dude, TA's uh, gameplay yeah. looks like AI. As soon as he gets ran at, he runs to one of his traps and then melds on it. 
every time. Yeah. Yeah. It's really cool to see. Sniper gonna snipe the Ursa. Really cool. What are you doing? Illusion. What? Me? No. Oh, sniper? Him. Yeah. I don't fucking know, dude. What are you doing, bro? Good time. Where are you going? Roche, I think? Dude, this is the first time he's wandered out of base. He's just a little curious, dude. Why are you all of a sudden curious? What is this adventure? Where is he going? Dude. Mars? He's got his eyes set on Mars? He doesn't have a silver edge. He's just going for it. What the fuck? That was the most random decision I've ever fucking seen, dude. What in God's name? He's ulting him now. That's like that's so out of character for anything else that he's done in this game. So after his like little AI movement thing bot, he just TPs straight the fuck into the top wave, gets gripped by the storm, who refreshes to kill him, and then sniper buys back. Yeah. I mean he's got the high ground here, so Dude, he he's definitely cooking right now. He is no. cooking. Let's see what he's got cooking. Let's let him cook. It's he's taking There's a no waves in the base though. He's taking a long time to process. What? Just an absolute. Is he even there? I. <sighs> yes, he's there, dude. Yes, he's there. <laughs> he is just cooking. <laughs> oh. oh, here we go. Oh. Here we go. This is what he was cooking the whole time for, guys. Oh fuck yeah, the, the Dark Willow buys back. Okay, that was oh. actually kind of sick. They see him on this because they've got a ward sentry here because Heralds know how to play against Megas. So he baits the Willow buyback, which happened because Willow fought the Tormentor over here and died to a neutral. So really all of this all of this gameplay is just coming together in one big spicy pot of everybody cooking something juicy and thick. Uh, so is the PL. Looks like no fight is gonna be there. Oh, oh, look who's there. It's the guy who likes to be melded. And he is indeed melded. As the Witch Doctor presses the Seer Stone on the ground, pops the ult. He's standing in the middle of everything. He's got that Voodoo Switcher if he wants to use it. He's just gonna let it rock. Fuck, dude. Oh, use the Glimmer. Well, so the, the glimmer. Glimmer's gonna protect oh him. God. He's gonna kill the PL. At least Voodoo. the Storm is. He's got the Voodoo Switcher if he wants to use it. He uses the urn on himself. That's 24 charges left. Some of the PL is still alive. Very briefly, Sniper TP's in. Whatever he was cooking, he is no longer cooking. He's cooking with his team. Radiance Ancient is under attack. It's going down to just no creeps. Way. As the Ogre goes down, the Ursa is chasing. There is no detection. He's going to go past the Lich and go for the Sniper. Now going for the TA. And he goes down. 125 seconds on him. All right, now this is truly defense of the Ancients here. Sniper will eventually realize that the Mirror Shield means he's getting fucking Ags sniped back. And it's actually proccing the Witchblade, so it almost killed him. So, yeah, he's got to be confusing. He's got to be careful with that. Okay, well, Chain Frost. Here comes the airstrip. Let's go. I want to see him do this. I want to see it live in action. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's watch him put down four wards in the mid lane. I mean, to be fair, the enemy team is just running straight down mid. So, yep, there's the second one. And number three. Yep, there it is. Very nice. Uh, so, unless somebody fucks up and buys back way too late, they have the four as well. They should be able to defend this pretty easily. Goes for the double grip. One of them is on the sniper who has the rapier. The Lich Chain Frost coming out the sniper. No. He's... Oh, he's standing on a sentry. He's standing on a sentry. So he goes down. The Lich grabs the storm. The chain... Double Chain Frost, I think. No, that's one Chain yeah, Frost. Both, he's running straight for the rapier. Yeah, goes straight for the rapier. Gets the rapier on sniper. Good call. TATP's under the creep, and it does not go down. The Ooh. sniper takes out the Mars. The buybacks. Ursa's no waiting way. for his. Ursa buyback. He buys back with two seconds left on his death timer. The three-man spear. The Ursa going for the Lich. The Lich gets a Chain Frost off because he goes down. Let's see how effective this thing is. Not very effective. Sniper, he's in there. He's going for the Ursa. Ursa has ult. All you, all you have to do is press it. There's detection on the ground. It's not the Radiance, though. It's the Dyers. So, Sniper's actually going to walk away with the Rapier. He survived. Oh, my God. Uh, although, he is standing on wards, by the way, because of the airstrip <laughs> we saw earlier. The TA's in the trees. They know that he's in the trees because this fucking wall gives vision for some reason. I don't know why. This guy was trying to hide by the wall, but it gives vision. Okay, so this is a going down mid scenario. This time there is no buyback. There's no lich to frost armor the tower. As the Mars is going to go for the straight up throw. They're all just hitting the throne. They're just beating it down. The Mars grabs a sniper, spears him as well. And they actually oh. do it. They defend against Megas and then eventually win the game. Against a rapier sniper who keeps it at the end of the game. Wow. Whew, what a rush.